race for the title. 90 minutes that could be absolutely make or break for their respective aspirations. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello everyone and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. And we're just minutes away from kickoff in the final game of the season. It's Hibernian up against Celtic. Well, what a season it's been, Derek. We've seen everything. Drama at both ends of the table, some spectacular goals and plenty of entertainment. The players, of course, will be looking forward to a break now, but hopefully not before they give us a good game today. This is the lineup for the home team. Well, it's a 4-4-2 with a midfield diamond, and key to this shape will be the players either side of that diamond. When in possession, they'll go wider to give the team width. When they're defending, they'll tuck back in. Here's the Celtic starting 11. Well, it's a 4-3-3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. And the keeper reacting just as we would have expected. Pablo Galdames. Untidy in possession. Oh, big chance. And it's there for him. There it is. And just the ideal start. Well, here we can see it again. And he does so well to skip beyond the defender. It just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away. That's a really nice goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? A foul, but advantage played. And do they mean business on this occasion? Terrific save! Who can they pick out? The clearance wasn't decisive. And I think the threat has been averted. And attempting the through ball. He just needs to remain icy cold. In it goes! Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And then through on goal, you never really had any doubt that he wouldn't slot that away. It's a cool finish. So, 2-0 now. Montgomery this is looking threatening but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending well confirmation as we look at the table of newly crowned champions I say that but today is oh, the Derek, day what a moment this could be and still an opportunity and second time around he scores but the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing
Well, here it is again. And I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper because he makes a very good save to start with. Where are his defenders following in? It's the attackers that get there first, and it's a very good finish. Three goals without reply. Pablo Galdames. Well read to win possession back. And a throw in forthcoming. Tom Rogic will he play it in shot attempted off the post and back in play oh magnificent from the keeper fantastic stop and the counter looks on here options available and he's broken free and intercepted it Pablo Galdames. Rafa Suarez. And continues his run. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Well shown inside. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Free kick awarded then by the referee. A running room in the wide position. And just making the run a bit too early. Offside as a result. Inching towards the interval, and it's going with home advantage. Stuart, as always, very keen to get your take. Well, what a first-half performance this has been so far. They look like scoring every time they go forward. Oh, wait a moment, Stuart. Look at what's happening. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. Well, let's take another look, and it's an easy finish in the end. I'm not sure what the defence or the goalkeeper were doing there, but he won't care about that. He's just walked it in. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's putting in a really authoritative performance here. Well, you won't see too many better performances than this. He's been an absolute menace to these defenders today. And, of course, he's taken his goals really well. And now they get the ball rolling. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Here's Weir. Rowe. Nicely cut out. Wilson. Breaking at pace.
straightforward piece of goalkeeping. And sloppy in possession. And that was a very fine read. Rogic. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Losing possession a bit easily. Valoyes. Well, he's lost it. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. He cuts it back. Chance to play it in. Committed challenge. Oh, good looking run. Is it going to be? And begging to be put away. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Well, let's take another look. Yeah, he won't get an easier finish than that. The defending was all over the place, though. My goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. He's found a pocket of space. And delivered into the box. Well, it's actually ended up being easy meat for the keeper. 20 minutes to go. And giving the ball away. And would be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Well, they might be onto something. Well, now in a dangerous position. Brilliant save. Smuggled away. Well, I still can't believe that didn't go in, Derek. It's a fantastic. Now, hold on, Stuart. They're in here. And mistimed the run, sadly. That's offside. And time for the change now. Harry Wilson. Galdames with it. Wilson. Well, he could run onto it here. Can they put it away? Pressing high, and they have the ball again. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. And a short corner, let's see. Getting forward. Oh, it's gone in! A significant deflection, leaving the keeper flummoxed. A glut of goals. 5-1 it is. And dispossessed. 
And he's in. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Just the clearance that was called for. And there's the final whistle. In a way, this game had an academic quality about it. Everyone here, including the players, just waiting for the moment when they can celebrate their accomplishments. The trophy will soon be theirs. Well, it's been a long wait, but it's worth it. Celebrating in front of their own fans. They've been excellent this season. They fully deserve to be the champions. And that is a vivid picture of what we associate with this group of players. It's all about the team ethic. You can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Well, for some of these players, it will be the pinnacle of their careers. They just have to take it all in now and realise what they've achieved here. It doesn't come much better than this, does it? And just look at those fans. They've followed their club everywhere. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And this is always part of the fun, Stuart, the photographs. Well, this photo will be hanging up in the study for years to come, won't it? Just make sure you're in that front row. That would be my advice. So there we have it, the league champions. And attempting the through ball. 